Hello, Geminis. Last reading I did, I was getting the energy that someone is uh, used to you chasing them. So you chase this person for a long time, and I think this person is, this person might be very attractive, or they might kind of be, maybe, maybe not even attractive, but just a little bit cocky. They're, they're just, they're used to people chasing them. They're, they're used to not, almost like emotionally, romantically lazy in a way. They're, they're used to people coming to them. Could be their own insecurities as well, but they're, for whatever reason, they're just used to being pursued. And... They got really used to you chasing them. They got used to taking you for granted, to, you know, you doing all the work. And you pulled your energy away from them. So it might not have even been intentional. You might have just started focusing on other things. You just got tired of the same old, same old situation with them. You know, it was a turnoff for you that you constantly had to plan the dates and make the first moves, text first, all of it. It got old. Um, and now they're realizing that they're, they might lose you forever. Like you, and this could be something that kind of crept up on them over time where it's like you, you slowly started de detaching and focusing on other things. And now it's not so easy to get your attention or they might not know that they can message you. Like they, they don't feel, they felt your energy before. They felt that they had you on hold and they don't feel that energy now. They feel that you're not on hold for them anymore. So let's see what the current energy is. Manipulation, deception. They're codependent on you. They won't they don't want to admit it though. So I feel like a love offer is coming in from this person. But hmm, I, it's not trust. I don't know if it's trustworthy though. Let me see. Oops. Is it trustworthy? Mm, not really. It's like a no leaning towards maybe. It's like there might be some good intentions, but there's also some deception there, it looks like. And for this group of Geminis, like especially if you've been with me for a few months now, I've consistently gotten you guys in like empress or like emperor energy, like high priest, high priestess, like just powerful, like your charismatic, your, um, your, your life has changed a lot over the past year, I feel. Like you're really stepping into your power. You know, the world is your oyster. You're manifesting the love that you want. So you have multiple potential love partners. So you don't have to settle for this person. Kind of feel like that's what happens too, like with reconciliation work. It's like you, you know, they have you and they have you and they have you. And then you start leveling up and focusing on yourself, doing your own thing, building genuine self-confidence. And then all of a sudden, all these people that rejected you suddenly want you, you know, the, the tables have turned for you. The tables have turned for you basically is what I'm getting here. You might, this might be multiple people coming back. You might have multiple exes actually coming back around wanting another chance with you because your energy has shifted so drastically. You're not in the same energy that you were in last time you were with these exes. You know what I mean? Like you were maybe a little bit insecure or just like maybe not even fully insecure, but just kind of unsure of yourself, kind of unsure of your place in the world, not, you know, still trying to figure out where you belong, maybe kind of codependent on certain people, um, just like a little bit lost. And you've, you've found yourself. I mean, you're, you're still finding yourself, but you're, you're much stronger. You're much more genuinely confident than you were before. And you're, you're not investing your all into relationships anymore. You're you're pursuing something else, like you're pursuing a career or maybe art or music or um, your hobbies, um, other relationships. Like you're you have more of a balance in your life now. And the thing is that these people can feel that because it's it's energy. So you can you can do reconciliation magic and try to try to manifest a certain person back to you. But if you're just sitting there, like, thinking about them, upset over them, missing them, they can still feel that energy. You know what I mean? So you might feel like you're playing hard to get because it's like you haven't talked to them for a month or two. But you're sitting there, like, obsessing all the time, which I know it's hard not to when you're in love with someone. It's, it's easier said than done. But my point is just that they can feel that energy, though, because you still you have these red cords that connect you to your soulmates, to people from your soul group. So it's like even if you're not messaging first and you're trying to play hard to get you have to also telepathically astrally play hard to get as well if that makes sense like you can't just not message but then sit there and think about them all the time and then think that you're playing hard to get because the thing is they can still feel your energy they can still feel that that you like telepathically they feel that they have you 
even if you're not talking, you know what I mean? So that's kind of why I didn't, it didn't happen before. Cause I think a lot of you are trying to reconcile with this person and you're like, okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to message first. I'm going to wait, but you're still sitting there thinking about them all the time and they can still feel that energy of having you. But something has really shifted where they actually don't have you like that anymore. There might still be some feeling there, but you're, you're, you're folk, you have like a new relationship that's just come in or you have like, like work or school or, or just something like you're, you're starting to live your best life. You have a lot of really good opportunities manifesting for you, um, in the near future. And then in this year, especially, so, you know, some of you might not want to give this a chance because I feel like this person's kind of toxic. And if you, um, if you go back through my videos, I actually just did a cut and clear, um, community ritual and you can, you can watch that video and follow me and do it along with me if you're new to magic and you can cut those cords so that you're not picking up on this person's energy and they're not picking up on yours anymore. Um, and I go into detail in the video about how it works, how to do it, um, what you need to know, all of that. So, so if you, if you're thinking about ending this connection, check that video out. And the spell is very simple. I, I do it because I know a lot of you are new to magic. So I, I made it very simple for you guys to do. Cause I don't feel like this person's like completely horrible, but I feel like your vibration is much higher than them. Like you've kind of outgrown this person to be honest. So I would kind of love to see you guys get out of this energy so that I can channel a new love story for you guys. So this person isn't showing up on the board anymore. And you know what I mean? Um, but I channel energy. So keep that in mind. Psychics channel energy. So if you guys are still in this energy, this is what's going to come through when I do the readings. But, um, but again, it doesn't mean that you're like still connected to them, but if you're just, if you have the red cords, it's like, there's still the connection there. Even if you're getting over it, you have to, when you're really completely done with someone, you got to cut those cords, you know, so that you guys don't pick up on each other's energy anymore and you can really free your energy and move forward. So if you guys decide to do that and then you do that ritual, then I might be picking up a new story in a couple of weeks. Cause I feel, I feel someone new coming in for you this year and they're going to be, they're going to match your vibration. So yes, you do have a few different X's. I don't think it's just one X. I honestly think it's at least two, maybe three or four even that are probably going to pop up out of the woodworks this year. Like, Hey, like <laughs> been a while. How you doing? Like, <laughs> you know, um, but they all feel lower vibration. I feel like you were of lower vibration when you were in that energy and you were in love with those people. Like when you guys were dating, you were at a different point in your life. Um, and so that energy resonated for you, like the ghosting or the mistreatment. I'm not saying that like you, I'm not saying that you deserved it or that you felt like you deserved it or anything like that. But it's just like when you're in that vibration, it's like it doesn't you don't realize how toxic it is until you've gotten out of that and raised your vibration. You know what I mean? Like you notice like, like men and women that are like in abusive relationships. Like if you're in like a high vibration and you're confident, you couldn't imagine like wanting someone that would do that, you know? And like, I've been there, like I've been in abusive relationships where I've been in that energy and I love the person. And it was just, that was where I was at. You know what I mean? And I didn't, I mean, deep down, I knew I deserved more, but it's like, I didn't really, I was in that vibration. You know what I mean? Where it's like, I didn't, it was like, okay, like they'll work on it. You know what I mean? Like I didn't think much of it, but in this current vibration that I'm in now, like I would be disgusted if someone tried to abuse me, I would be done. I wouldn't even feel anything for them anymore. And that doesn't mean that I'm like above anyone or anything like that. All I'm saying, I'm just trying to make a point that, um, you know, that, that in a certain, like at a certain point point you just won't want that you would just won't resonate with that energy because I feel like some of these people were like like verbally abusive or they were like um like ghosted you or they like gaslit you or just kind of narcissistic like just kind of toxic energy um and again I'm not saying like like not saying anyone's better than anyone else it's just it's just energy it's just where you're at you know what I mean like what energies you're currently resonating with you know, and there's, there's no light without darkness. Like you have to, sometimes you do have to go through that dark energy. Um, but my point is just that you've come out of that energy. It feels like, like your life feels lighter. Your life feels like it's more positive. Like you're, you're stronger. You have stronger boundaries. You're, you're getting more stable. So I don't feel like you resonate with these energies so much anymore. It almost feels like your perspective has been slowly shifting over the past year or so. So that now you're kind of looking back and you're like, ooh, why did I allow myself to go? Like, why did I love that person? Like, why did I allow myself to be treated like that? Like, why, 
why would why would I do that? Like, why would I want that? You know what I mean? It's like you, there might be some feeling left because you're kind of in limbo where you're breaking out of this energy and coming into a new, um, almost like through a portal, like a new perspective, new new energy field. You know what I mean? Um, so it's like, yeah, I do feel X is coming back, but I don't think you're resonating with them anymore. And honestly, I would just keep raising your vibration and keep doing what you've been doing, you know, building your confidence, focusing on your goals, your dreams, um, going to school, uh, uh, you know, work, um, saving money, uh, art, music, whatever it is that you're doing that you love. I would keep doing that, keep focusing on that energy because it's raising your vibration more and more over time. Like I know you probably have days where you get really stressed out and lonely and you're like, when is it going to physically manifest for me? Like I'm tired. This is exhausting. But overall, I do see your your energy is consistently. I mean, it's it's you know, energy is always it's up and down a lot. But but over time, your energy is consistently raising more and more. So if you look back from where you're at now to where you where you were where you were like a year ago, like your energy is much higher than it was a year ago. You know what I mean? And if this is your story and you want me to look more in depth into your situation, into your exes, new people, whatever you want, just send me an email. My email address is below in the description box below. Um, it's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. But, but yeah, it's in the description box right below this video. So you can just copy and paste the email and, and send me an email. Um, also, any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal and my cash app is also below. So, so yeah, so I feel like you have exes coming back around, but again, I don't think you resonate with them. There might be like a little bit of feeling left because again, this is like, you've been consistently getting out of this energy and you might have a history with some of these people. So it might be kind of hard, but you're in this vibration, like, and your, your vibration is raising more and more and more. So don't go back to something that's going to lower your vibration. Don't go back to the old patterns. Don't go back to the old ways of thinking and doing and being, you know what I mean? Like keep raising your vibration. Because I feel like you're going to meet someone this year that's not going to be your usual type. Because I feel like you're breaking. I feel like you're almost there. And it's almost like a test or something. It's almost it's like you're almost like you've been breaking this pattern over time. Like you've been working. You might have a pattern with like going for emotionally unavailable people or toxic people. And you've been consistently working on breaking that pattern a lot this past year, I feel. And you're almost there. Like you're about to break that pattern. Like you're about to re like you're you're breaking it. Like it, a lot of it's broken, but there's still some more healing to do. If some of you are doing like inner like energy healing or some kind of like some kind of energy healing method, I feel like it's really working for you. So keep doing that as well. Like soul retrieval or like um God, there's like another energy technique, like a healing technique. What is it? The emotion code, like if you guys are doing that kind of stuff, like I feel it's really working for you guys. So keep that up. But yeah, yeah, you have these exes coming around, I feel, this year, but it's like, I don't think, and again, this is this year, I don't even feel like, usually the cards tell me, like, what's going on the next couple weeks, but I feel like the cards are actually just kind of giving you, like, maybe some of you are feeling kind of, you know, hopeless or kind of frustrated, not, not kind of being in limbo, so I think the cards are giving you a general overview of what this year is holding for you, so it's kind of like when you're in limbo, sometimes it is frustrating and lonely because you're like, oh my gosh, I've been working so hard, when is it going to manifest, when is it going to manifest, and I feel like you're actually almost there finally, like you're you're all you've already grown and changed a lot. You're already much stronger, much more confident, much more stable, much higher vibration than you were a year ago. And you've been breaking the pattern. So even though you can't physically see it, the patterns are, are consistently being broken. They are, they are dissolving away. They're, they're dissolving away. You know what I mean? Um, so if this X comes back, I'd kind of recommend maybe, maybe cutting and clearing these X's is like the final step to really free yourself of this. Um, that could be for some of you. But keep up the work you're doing. Do not get discouraged. Whatever you've been working on, the goals, like I know it's lonely sometimes, but keep doing what you're doing. It's really important. Because I feel like you're in limbo right now. And again, when you're in limbo, sometimes it's scary and lonely because it's like you're cutting out all these toxic people, but you're just in this like, you know, you're in this like middle point where you're like just emptiness where you're like, okay, well, what comes next? Well, it's like, it's coming. You're getting there. You know what I mean? Like you're getting away from the toxic people, but it's, it's a process to get to that next, this, this energy over here, this, this next phase of your life. You know, and sometimes there's like this empty, emptiness in between when you transition from from such low vibration to such high vibration. I hope that makes sense. 
I also want to say you also need to make sure as you cut these toxic people out that you have healthy mechanisms to replace them. What is that quote? Um, change comes not just with fighting the old, but also with building the new. So it's like as you release toxic people and toxic coping mechanisms, you also need to replace them with like positive people, positive coping mechanisms. So it's not just like emptiness and you don't fall back into the old patterns. You know what I mean? But you guys are really good. Like you're almost there. Just you just need to keep going because this this year is going to be life changing for you. But you have to stay on your on your path. You have to keep if you're maybe some of you are thinking about like dropping out of school or dropping out of like saying screw it with music or art or something that you're passionate about because you're tri tired of not seeing it manifest or you're um, it could be like work or just something that you love that you're just like frustrated with it's like keep going with it keep there's something coming there's some good energy coming like if, if this is what your heart is calling you to do and you feel passionate about it don't listen to other people what other people say just keep going with it you know because I feel like it's like don't quit before you reach the finish line you know what I mean like you're with everything not just with love but also with career with money with everything like you're you're about to have some drastic energy shifts this year where you're going to finally see things physically manifest, but you have to keep going with it. Don't, don't quit right before that seed is finally sprouted. You know what I mean? Like you got to keep going even when it's hard. Um, and you can rest, you can heal, keep doing the healing work you're doing too. But, but if there's something that you love doing, you know, keep focusing on that. Don't give up just because you haven't gotten instant gratification with this yet. You know what I mean? Like, um, but yeah, it's also with love. It's not, I feel like it's with career and something else too, like, like art or hobbies or music career or something where it's like, you're kind of getting frustrated, but keep going, keep going. Cause you're going to have an energy shift this year regarding whatever that is, I feel. But that's, if it's something that you love, not something, this wouldn't be something that someone would be pushing you to do. No, this would be something that like you would love doing, but other people might not understand like music or art or something. People might put you down or like, maybe you want to do psychic readings and you're like feeling discouraged. It's like, or witchcraft, even whatever it is, keep going forward with it. Keep doing it. You know, it's like practice makes perfect. This might be something that you really need to study for a while before you get good at it, but I see a continuous progression. So you might have days when you feel like you're not doing that well at it, but you actually are. It's just energy is like that where it's up, down, up, down sometimes, but it's like overall your gen, your, the, the general direction is up. You know what I mean? Especially over the next year. So it's just, it's, there's a strong message to stick with it, whatever it is, because this year you're going to have like an energy shift where something's going to come of this energy. You know what I mean? Like if you're practicing guitar and you're, you're frustrated because you're not as good as everyone else, well, it's like at the end of the year, you're, if you're practicing every day, you're going to be, you know, starting a band or something like that. You know, it's like where there's going to be some kind of reward. It's not going to be like this week or this month though. I don't feel this is going to be in the future, but the reward is going to be worth it is what I feel. And again, this is only, this energy is only if it's something that you're passionate about that you love. Like this wouldn't be the kind of energy, this wouldn't be like you're going to school for something you hate. No, this would be like you're going to school for something you absolutely love but you know, money's tight and you're kind of nervous. It's like find a balance, you know what I mean? But don't drop out of school or like music. It's like, just do it cause you love doing it and find, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean you have to quit your day job. It just means don't stop doing what you're doing. Don't start procrastinating, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Also regarding love though, I do want to say, I also really feel like there's going to be an energy shift regarding love. So I feel like you're going to come into abundance, just like a ton of abundance all at once. Like you, like your career takes off and then you meet your soulmate, just like all of that within the course of like a month or two. But I feel this coming more, more in more towards like the fall. I feel for you guys. Um, some of you summer, but a lot of you fall, I feel, but it's going to be worth it. So keep it up, keep it up. Um, but I feel like this person, so you're cutting this pattern is the, the pattern you had with like toxic people, it is ending, but again, you need to stick with it. You need to stay, you need to rise above that energy. You need to cut these X's out, you know, because you know, deep down, you don't want to go back to that. Even if you feel lonely, you know that you deserve more than that. But I feel like later this year, you're going to be manifesting, um, someone who's not your usual type. It's going to be someone who treats you well, like a boy or girl next door type, and a year ago, you would not have been attracted to them. You would have friends on them. Our perspective can literally like change the way we physically th see things. Have you, have you ever seen like a really happy couple 
And like you look at the couple and you're like, oh, my God, that guy is like so ugly. Like I would not touch that in a million years. But you have to understand she doesn't like the woman that's with him or the man that's with him doesn't see it like that. Like they think that's like the hot like that's like their dream person. Like they think they're so sexy because that's their mentality is is shaping their perspective the way they physically see something you know think about it with like taste too like why do certain foods taste good to you but bad to other people and vice versa or why do why do certain things visually appeal to you and other people hate them and vice versa it's it's your perspective you know what i mean and if you've if you had a pattern with toxic emotionally unavailable people then your perspective is going to make um, negative people seem physically attractive to you. You know what I mean? But now that you're changing your perspective, you're slowly starting to be attracted to better and better people. You're not fully there yet. Like, I don't think that you're, I think that the people you would attract now are better quality than they were before, but you're not like at that point where you're like attracted to like really good, genuine people yet. But I honestly feel like towards the end of the year, like, like summer, fall, you're going to actually be finally at that place where you're attracted to really good positive loving people that you would not have given a second thought to a year ago you know and it could happen sooner for you you know energy is energy shifts so if you if you do the cut and clear spell like tonight and you're like like just working on it I might get a completely different spread two weeks and be like oh my gosh I did not see this coming but I think your soulmate's coming within the next two months you know like I don't it, it's energy can change it's up to you guys keep that in mind with readings as I'm reading your energy so you you get to decide what's in the cards what I what what story I tell it's all you know I'm reading this group of Gemini's so the 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 actions you take over the next two weeks the the decisions you make they're all going to come out in my reading in a couple weeks you know the readings that I do so that's you know keep that in mind too with energy but yeah keep at it keep breaking this pattern because you're gonna this year I really strongly feel you manifesting someone that you wouldn't have been attracted to before and this person's gonna treat you really well and you're you're gonna know that you deserve it you know like in the past you might have been like like too good to be true or um that's not trustworthy they're trying to buy something for me or I don't deserve this or like just uncomfortable with it but now you're going to be like yeah you should buy me you should buy me that necklace I deserve it or you should you should take me on vacation I deserve it you know what I mean like you're going to resonate with that energy of being taken care of and spoiled and loved you're just going to be like yeah that's for me I've earned this I went through the work I went through the dark night of the soul I earned this like you're going to be in that vibration where you're going to just know that you deserve it and you're not even going to question it um so you're going to be attracted to a whole different type of person so keep up the keep up the work keep up what you're doing because you got a new perspective coming you gotta you gotta not be manipulated by your loneliness you know not fall back into codependency and addiction when these toxic exes try to weasel their way back in you gotta remember what you deserve and stay strong and stay committed to your future because you have this new perspective coming in and true love a life partner coming in sometime this year too i feel for a lot of you so it's really good energy um like i said if this resonates please um you know, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. And if you want a reading, my email is below. It is, yeah, it's right in the description box. And please subscribe if it resonates too. Thank you guys for watching.